Hicks Bozen is asking, why is CJ Watermelon <laughs> suddenly Water going after ex-Muslims and attacking them now? Wait, you're um, calling him Watermelon? Oh, no, Hicks Bozen is calling him. Okay, so because I can never pronounce his last name properly, it just looks like Watermelon to me. So I always say CJ Watermelon. And people are now using the same name. I'm so, that's, so, I think, <laughs> that's so sweet. Hicks Bozen is calling him what I call him. What is his actual last name? Can you pronounce it? Weirdly. That's what people. Wait, can you Weird... can you pull up the link? Yes. See, you can't even say it either. So it's not just me. Wirlimon? Wir Wirlim? Weird... Okay. I don't know. That's yeah, it's a whole so, okay. I really have no idea how to pronounce it looking at it. Like what phonetics are we dealing with here? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm justified to call him CJ Watermelon. Honestly, yes. <laughs> yes, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, it's not asking personal. Who... He didn't choose his name. <laughs> yes, yes. Dee's asking, who is that? Oh, you don't know this guy? This, guy's, this guy is um, an anti, an Islamophobe hunter, basically. It literally like, says in his bio right there on Twitter, activist against Islamophobia. Yes, yes. So base and he thinks we are Islamophobes. So yes. So he goes anybody who like most people who criticize Islam, he goes after them for being Islamophobes and into being like um a you know, giving into white supremacy. And he thinks like for example, me Imperialism, and Imperialism, American Imperialism. hegemony, all of yes, all, all of that. Yes. From a from they, a leftist perspective. Yes. He's one of the most aggressive people against anybody who criticizes Islam. Like he thinks like we're all just bigots, right? And so I don't even think he's a Muslim. No, he's of course he's not a Muslim. He's just like trying to, he's like playing into like he he's a favorite. He's a, a, a Muslim community's favorite white man, basically. He's like the white man who he's a non-Muslim who gets it. He gets it basically, okay? I mean, by the way, to be fair, because... honestly, I want to apply for that position. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. I was like, I how do you get you that do. title? Damn. <laughs> okay, but Susanna, you want that title for different reasons. I don't think he was. <laughs> 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 You're like, Muslim man. <laughs> I, I don't think that's the same reason. I'm dying. <laughs> I don't think this is his kink, Susanna. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> but, okay, to be fair to him, because a lot of people do attack Muslims unjustifiably, he sometimes gets it right. You know what I mean? Like, he does... Oh, yeah. uh, he does ident identify a lot of actual bigots correctly, okay? But then he, he highlights just, like, a lot of stuff in India that we also highlight, for example. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But he also thinks we're, like we highlight anti-Muslim bigots and we condemn them. But he also thinks like we're anti-Muslim bigots just because we're ex-Muslim, by the way. So in this mm -hmm. video, like I reviewed this video on secular jihadists. Which it will so if you want to see my review of this video, subscribe to Secular Jihadist. That video, my review of his video, will be released soon. His re, his video try, describing ex Muslims as like bigots and you know giving into anti you know white supremacy apparently is so yeah yeah yeah, I mean, yeah yeah it's so outdated. Like this was something that you used to hear like I don't know ten years ago. Now don't, now people don't think like that. Now a lot of leftists even consider like yeah they're just some legitimate criticism of islam here like they're like okay like we're anti-christianity islam has a lot of the same features like some sometimes even more right so i mean a lot of leftists have jumped on the idea like have accepted the idea that this is like okay islam is cringe okay like mm -hmm. this muslims need to be defended but islam is a religion and religion is cringe okay this guy is still back far behind but the video is absolutely ridiculous right like he he, he identifies abdullah samir abdullah samir as an anti-muslim bigot like abdullah samir like the 
the the most mellow, kindest, sweet ex-Muslim that actually hunts down anybody who wants to go take that anti-Islam narrative and turn it into anti-Muslim bigotry. He's one of those people who like will call them out on them. Like he will like he's like a hawk watching other ex-Muslims not to do that. And he I, he shows his picture as an anti-Muslim bigot. Anyways, there's so many ridiculous claims in this video, and I go through it one by one with a with a Muslim. Okay? With a Muslim, I, and he actually agreed that a lot of what CJ said was totally unfair. Yeah. So me, an ex-Muslim with a Muslim, okay, on the secular jihadists, we go through this video bit by bit and we like dissect it and analyze it and destroy it okay so that video will be clipped and published soon so make sure you're subscribed to the secular jihadist just search on youtube secular jihadists and subscribe to the youtube channel you will see my review of it okay <laughs> um yeah. it's no and okay what's worse is like look at how he said it how ex-muslims threaten muslim lives we, oh my god okay we don't or most of that's us so demonizing but then also think about how dangerous that is for people living in muslim majority countries or communities yeah also he's doing to ex-muslims what he accuses other people of doing to muslims like he's like for example he uses i and his CLE's bad rhetoric right and he's like look what ex-muslims are doing i like dude like this is kind of like what you're saying we shouldn't be doing like uh, uh, justifiably like we don't take a bad muslim or like somebody that, like a muslim that is saying like stuff that we don't like and we're like and then generalize it to all muslims so if we if it's not okay to do that with muslims why is that okay for you to do that with ex-muslims like isn't that irresponsible like isn't aren't you being a hypocrite like wouldn't you see that as you know general over generalization if somebody did that with muslims like rightfully so to be you know so why are you doing like it's so it's so stupid I don't know. it's so i agree i agree yeah yeah anyways go watch that it's a, it was a really good review it's a very good uh, review i think it, we got lucky that i was reviewing that while we had a muslim on the channel friendly muslim, it was fun yeah, actually yeah it was really fun so i think <clears throat> because i I try to be skeptical, like maybe like, am I being hateful? Am I like being bigoted? Like, I want to like mm -hmm. double check, like, can somebody be objective? Like, tell me, like, am I, what am I doing wrong? Right? Sometimes like I try to second guess myself, like just to make sure that I'm because I might be like looking everything from a narrow minded perspective and not noticing my own hatred or bigotry. Right. So it's good to have somebody to check this with me, you know, and if you think that Muslim didn't do a good job, like, let me know in the comments of that video. Anyways, get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.